for joining us for the celebration of really a milestone in Cape Leak history. Uh, we're here this afternoon to dedicate and do a wonderful ribbon cutting on, I call it sometimes the patio with a capital P or the Hall of Fame patio or the patio on Main. <laughs> and I want you to know that it's been created entirely by local people, so that is one of the things we want to promote here today, is it's all about local. I'd like to uh, welcome and introduce Peter Ford, who will be our MC for what I promised would be a brief ceremony. Um, Peter is Vice President of the League. He also is local, uh, homegrown. Harwich High School, Boston College, went on to play in the Cape League for four years. He is in our Hall of Fame, so he is enshrined in that building right there. And we are delighted to have Peter with us. So, Peter, it's all yours. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Well, it's, it's a real pleasure to have everyone here. And as Judy has mentioned, uh, the Cape League is all about local. It's all about volunteers. So we really are appreciative of your attendance today. Uh, the league goes back a long time. Um, 1885, they first started throwing baseballs around, traveling from town to town, 128 years of baseball. And uh, we've come a long way since then, and it's been a tremendous trip for the Cape League. As much as there's been going on on field, there's been a lot going on off the field. One of the uh, proud accomplishments of the Cape League has been the Cape Cod League uh, Hall of Fame and Museum. Uh, the museum was first dedicated in 2002 when we had our uh, site set at, at Heritage Gardens in Sandwich. We were there for a number of years until uh, Peter Scarafile actually helped us with the idea of bringing the uh, Hall of Fame here to the local JFK Museum. Uh, you can imagine we took the downstairs lower level of this building and, and, uh, and redid it and it has come out as a beautiful contribute, contribution to uh, Main Street here in Hyannis. Along with that vision, we had the uh, expertise and talent of Gary Ellis, Diane Troy, Jim Martin, Dan Dunn, and with all that talent together, they finished the basement magically in the museum that we have today. Fast forward to 2010, Dan Dunn, who was our curator of the Hall of Fame, had the brilliant idea of putting two pairs of ballpark seats out here in front as a welcome to the museum. And that vision took one step further when Gary Ellis, our designer inside, became our designer outside. And he designed the patio, envisioned the, the bleacher seats as they are in Fenway, and came up with the idea of the giant wooden bat. It took a lot of work, a lot of hard work, and a lot of support from the town of Barnstable. And at this point, I'd like to ask Tom Lynch to just come over and say a couple of words on behalf of the town of Arsenal. Thank you very much. On behalf of the town of Bonsville, I want to welcome you all to this. And Council President Pritchard Godis is here, and he's got a, a little uh, a role a little later with throwing out the first pitch. He's been working on that very, very diligently. <laughs> um, the, um, this, uh, about last fall, um, Judy Scarafile came to me and said that she wanted to see if I would ask her uh, or give her permission to use a part of the front lawn here in front of the museum to put up a, an entryway or display or something for the, for the uh, Cape Cod Baseball League. And uh, I said, well, Judy, we have a few criteria for that. I said, the first thing is I want to be sure that our good friends and partner, the Hyannis Air Chamber of Commerce, I see more on record with there, is okay with it. I want to be sure that the Business Improvement District is okay with it. I want to be sure that the JFK Museum feels that it's a, a good idea, and she assured me that she could, you know, take care of, um, of all of those things. So then I said, what do you have in mind? And she said, well, we're going to put an eight-foot bat. And uh, I, I saw the pictures, I tried to imagine what it was like, and I said, well, listen, I can give you permission, but, um, you know, you're going to have to go through all the permitting and make sure that that is all taken care of. And she said she would, she would go ahead and do that. So I said, now, there's another little catch, and that is that Right now, I'm the interim town manager. So, um, you know, the new town manager could come in and change his mind, decide he wanted to do something else with it. So, thanks to Judy, a few months later, I became the town manager. <laughs> she can do anything that happens. <laughs> I have um, observed since it's been since this patio has been in. I've observed a variety of, of uh, activities here. I saw two 
young people all dressed in, uh, you know, Red Sox paraphernalia and getting their picture taken, sitting in the stadium seats. I saw a young woman and her, obviously her, her boyfriend taking a picture of her in front of the uh, of the bat. And um, then I saw a gentleman sitting here just reading a book, and I happened to notice that he had, you know, a Yankee hat on. Now, I thought one of the conditions of the permit was that we had a seat for Yankees, but it was on the other side. <laughs> but, uh, you know, the Cape Cod Baseball League has been a wonderful addition to our town. We're very fortunate to have, you know, two teams. Um, the, the Harbor Hawks have been uh, had a terrific uh, career uh, here. They bring folks in. It's a wonderful addition, recreational addition for our community. So we're very pleased for all that we do for us. And anyway, the town, we're appreciative of you having a, appreciating the town, but we really appreciate all you do. And when we, when we see the fine young men like that are here tonight that go on to the pros, we don't really, well, I would love to see them go on to the Sox. Whatever team they go for, we tend to root for them because we know them, we've, we've gotten to know them, and uh, it, it makes baseball more interesting when you know someone played in the Cape League and is moving forward. So Declan and I are going to step aside now, and we'll uh, thank you for all you do. Thank you. As mentioned, uh, the Cape League also would like to extend its thanks and gratitude to the Highness Chamber, as well as the town municipal officials and the Highness Historic District. Everyone helped out in pitching in to get this uh, body of work here behind us approved, and we're very, very appreciative of that. In addition to that, you need the bucks to do it. Oftentimes, the Cape League is out uh, looking for financial support, and oftentimes, one individual who has come to that call has been Randy Shepard, CEO of Eye Health Services, who is here today, a major sponsor of the Cape League. And of course, Randy was on board with this concept and he's the sole sponsor of the patio. And Randy, we'd like to thank you very much for that. A lot of hard work and the plan to keep going. Notice I have a list because I don't want to miss anyone. But it goes without question, Gary of uh, Northside Design and Yarmouth Court for your excellent creative design. Lou McKnight of Drywall Masonry in South Yarmouth for the bricks. Signorama from South Yarmouth created the signage. On Deck Sports of Brockton helped us with the Major League Home Plate. Earth and Stone of Harwich laid the bricks. Dick Bresciani, Vice President of the Boston Red Sox, also a Harwich resident, donated the two bleacher seats behind us. And Tom and Christine Bednark of Barnstable Bat developed this wonderful eight-foot wooden bat. Please say a few words, Tom. Um, it's Christine's and my pleasure to present this to the Cape League, to the Hall of Fame, and to all the town of Barnesville and Cape Cod citizens. Uh, it was a joy to uh, help in the creation of it. And uh, Christine and I are both local native born and bred Cape Carters and it does us uh, great joy and warmth to uh, help in the beautification of the street, uh, the enhancement of the Cape League, the town, and all things associated with baseball, tourism, and uh, goodwill in this whole uh, beautiful area in which we're so fortunate to live. And um, to paraphrase a very famous baseball player in Boston, Louis L. Tiante, um, all I can say to all of you is that the Cape League, baseball, and the town of Barnstable have been very, very good to us. So thank you very much. One, two, three. Great job. Oh.